Welcome to Unity Church of Chatsworth's Online Ministries. Alleluia. 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 A little boy was afraid of the dark. One night, his mother asked him to go out to the back porch and bring her the broom. The little boy turned to her and he said, Mama, I don't want to. It's dark out there. Mother smiled reassuringly at her son. She said, you don't have to be afraid of the dark. God is out there. God will look after you and protect you. Little boy looked at his mother real hard and he said, are you sure God's out there? Yes. I'm sure, she said, God is everywhere and God is always ready to protect you whenever you need. The little boy thought about it for a minute, went to the back door, cracked it open just a little bit, looked outside and said, God, if you're out there, would you hand me the broom, please? The Unity Daily Word we focus on today comes to us from September 26th, 1962, and the word is accomplishment. Our affirmation, I have faith to accomplish whatever I need to accomplish. Do you sometimes wonder if you have enough faith to accomplish a task that you consider difficult? There may be times when a task we have to do looms so large that it makes our faith seem small. Jesus assured us that if we had faith, even as a grain of a mustard seed, we could move mountains and nothing would be impossible to us. And nearly any one of us will admit that they have that much faith. When we question our faith, we are looking at our own limited powers rather than the broad, all-encompassing power of God. But as we use the faith that we have, it increases and grows stronger. It is through testing and using our faith that we increase it. In truth, it is not faith in ourselves that we need, but faith in the power of God working in and through us. Our own power may seem limited, but when we draw upon God's power, we need have no fear that we will be inadequate to meet any call that is made upon us. Our scripture with this daily word comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, nothing shall be impossible unto you. Our word for today is accomplishment. And our affirmation, I have faith to accomplish whatever I need to accomplish. And so it is. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Till kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debt, as we also forgive our debtors. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from error, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, 
and the glory forever. Amen. Paraphrasing from the work of James Allen, As a man thinketh, Mind is the master power that molds and makes, and we are mind. And evermore we take the tool of thought, and shaping what we will, bring forth a thousand joys or a thousand ills. We think in secret, and it comes to pass, environment is but our looking glass. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Paraphrasing from the Old Testament book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Paraphrasing from the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary, edited by Charles Fillmore, co-founder of Unity. The metaphysical meaning of Peter. Peter, the spiritual faculty of faith. This disciple named Simon, which means hearing, signified his receptivity and ability to discern truth. His name was changed by Jesus to Peter or Cephas, which is the Greek for the word rock. This represents faith in God, strong, unwavering, and enduring. This faith is necessary foundation for the building of spiritual consciousness in the individual. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, Verse 20, paraphrasing. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to a yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle, and God bless you. Good morning, and God bless you. Our title of our lesson today, Faith of the Mustard Seed, or Faith and the Mustard Seed. Okay. And today and every day, I am miracle-minded. Absolutely. Thank you, Michelle. And our power for the month? Yes. For the month of January, our power for the month is the power of divine faith. Our disciple is Peter, and the color is blue. Our part of the body is the center of the brain. Thank you, Michelle. We're going to begin today with prayer as I think of our minister, our role model from Unity Village, Reverend Maurice Williams. We move into prayer with, Have thine own way in me, O Lord. Have thine own way in me. Have thine own way in my thoughts and in my feelings. 
have thine own way in my actions and my behaviors this day. Have thine own way in me. And we say, thank you, God. 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 Yes. Our affirmation for today's lesson, our special affirmation for the lesson, we say and pray together. With, With faith, I can move mountains. mountains. Yes, Michelle, we feel it. We feel it now in our heart chakra and in our throat chakra and all over our body, our body temple. And we feel that warm glow. And again, we say and pray our affirmation for today's lesson. With, With faith, faith, I can, can move, move mountains. mountains. Yes, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And my, 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 yes. Uh, our title also includes that idea of the mustard seed and from the gospel. What is a mustard seed, Michelle? Have you ever seen a mustard seed? Mustard seed is a little itsy bitsy tiny seed. It's about that big. If that big, it's tiny. <laughs> I remember at our church in, in Battle Creek, uh, we actually passed out little mustard seeds <laughs> yeah. once. They came in a little card. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And while we were uh, the spiritual leaders of Unity Christian Church of Battle Creek in Battle uh -huh. Creek, Michigan, we had the, a wonderful opportunity and an exercise to do that. Yes. And today, I, my thoughts also uh, were about the James Allen quote. Mm-hmm. As a, we're going to say, be politically correct. A person thinks in their hearts, <laughs> so is the person. Mm -hmm. All right. But we're also, I believe, uh, uh, looking at an opportunity to deal with uh, the events of the week. Certainly. I'm going to say, Always. Michelle. Always. And I kept uh, thinking about it and praying about it and meditating about it. And, and for some reason, it came to me, not just for some reason, mm. As I take a deep breath, and everyone take a deep breath right now, right where you are. Let cooler heads prevail. Mm. Let cooler heads prevail. It just kind of came to me in kind of a, a prayerful moment and place. Mm -hmm. And I also kept thinking again of our, uh, our, our idea as a person thinks in their heart. So is the person... And I kept thinking of our our theme for the year, Michelle, which is... Let peace begin with me. Let peace begin with me. And as I take a breath, I'm also thinking, uh, let calm ah. begin with me. And thank you, Michelle. Yes, uh, uh, let panic begin with me. Hmm. We want to say cancel, cancel after that one. Or even let... Dis ease, I could say let ease begin with me, but yes. we could also say let dis ease as we look at the events of the week uh, globally and in our country. Where do we want to uh, affirm? And uh, there's that idea of critical mass. I had a, a member of our spiritual community mention uh, Marianne Williamson mm -hmm. and the idea that she proposed once upon a time and the idea that what part of the total do we want to participate in yes uh, the the energy of the country of of the spiritual community or of the family for that matter let cooler hearts prevail and certainly michelle our theme for the year let peace begin with me let peace begin with me, right here and right now, we sometimes quote the Bible. What are you seeing? Mm. You have eyes to see. What are you seeing? What are you perceiving? And we say some, from time to time, what are we blinded to? Yes. So we move forward today with our three points for today's lesson. Yes, thank you. Our three points for today's lesson. Point number one, our Bible scripture about the mustard seed and the miracle of faith. Point number two, saying good things. About your city. About. Where you are. About anything. About anything. Say good things. <laughs> Say good yes. things. And point number three, are you ready to let peace begin with you? 
Thank you, Michelle. Now, again, our scripture was all about the mustard seed. Mm-hmm. And I had I know I had a question about how how much faith do you need to move mountains? <laughs> and I know we're not just talking about physical mountains, but we're talking about, I've heard it say, said, mountainous problems. Yes, yes. Mountainous problems. And there are those, uh, for example, I have never heard of, uh, uh, outside of Ethiopia and the Red Sea, I have never heard of uh, certain countries that were mentioned this particular week. And again, this is the second week, it's full week. Mm-hmm of January yes. 2024. Mm-hmm. And so I, I heard uh, the name of a country, and it was, uh, I believe, uh, Saudi Arabia. Okay. And again, I, I, I've i heard of that before. I've heard, I think, just a little bit about uh, uh, Ethiopia and the, the Red Sea. Mm-hmm. And so uh, am I being geographically challenged if I say that my faith decides of a mustard seed? I don't even uh, know that I've heard these... Uh, the name of these countries okay. in the past year. Okay. Certainly two to five years. I'm and, not sure I'm not so, and sure about you. Placing but. your faith and making changes and, and that I, you know, as you're talking about that, I'm reminded of a class that I took in Unity Village and from Reverend uh, Rosada. Norma where, Rosada. Norma Rosada, where she covered this scripture with us in the class and and the question came up in the class, are we talking about physical mountains? If you as you've just yes. mentioned. Are we talking about physical mountains or are we talking uh, metaphysically or metaphorically? And and Reverend uh, uh, Rosada, I loved her answer. She said, Your faith will determine what that mountain is for you. All right, all yeah. right, thank you. Mm-hmm. And hello, Reverend Norma, right where she is. <laughs> As I take a deep breath again, uh, I, I sometimes uh, think of the idea that I have to, or I've heard people say, but I, I don't have that kind of faith mm. uh, uh, right now. Or they feel uh, a little rattled, I'm going to say, with the, the, the events of the past week. And, and again, uh, the news of the day. And for some reason, I keep thinking of the movie Matinee. <laughs> Keep thinking of the movie Matinee, and for those of you, it's John Goodman is uh, stars in it, and also uh, we have the theme or the idea of uh, the the 1960s uh, John Kennedy, the president, and the, the Bay of Bay Pigs, of Pigs. Mm-hmm. and so the it, it's it's uh, told from the children's point of view or certainly a teenage point of view, and there's a joke in it that talks about the events uh, dealing with the the Russians and the missiles in Cuba, and the joke is uh, the kids are saying, uh, in terms of faith, uh, I wonder what they're going to do next week or next Saturday, and one of the little teenagers says, I'm not sure they're going to be next sat- another Saturday mm-hmm. or next Saturday. So uh, again, we, we approach uh, the idea of having faith this week with the idea of the grain of mustard seed, or how much faith do we need? Mm-hmm. Point number two. We have and we are uh, celebrating and honoring uh, Dr. Martin Luther King this week, Michelle. Yes, yes we are. And how much uh, faith and energy are many of us uh, putting into uh, the Martin Luther King Day event? I understand there are uh, speakers coming from all over the country. There are speakers right here and right now in our city. Uh, there may be speakers or dinners right where you are. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of putting your faith forward right where you are, uh, I heard someone say, uh, all the tickets were sold. <laughs> to In one of the cities where we reside, there was an event, and, and the event was sold out. And um, we, we talked about this. Uh, we talked about, you know, trying to get a ticket to the event or someone that we knew was uh, attempting to get a ticket to the event put their faith out there as far as a sold out event and a ticket appeared. A ticket appeared. <laughs> you think it in your heart and it will appear. Or if you really believe, mm-hmm. or if you actually see or perceive that there is one, how many tickets do you need? Yes. Sometimes you need just one ticket, <laughs> that that ticket will manifest or appear. And when we talk about saying good things about being where you are, and we talk about this moving your faith forward to look for things, that idea is to put your faith into what you are hoping to manifest. 
and thinking positively about what you are hoping to manifest as opposed to saying, oh, that couldn't possibly happen for me. I'd really like that to happen, but I don't think it can. Rather than that, you affirm, this is what I would love to manifest in my life. And I see that happening. Thank you, Michelle. And we honor again uh, the memory of and the wonderful accomplishments of Reverend Dr. Martin King, Luther King Jr. I had to get it all out. <laughs> Again, yes. that's Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And uh, we say praise God. Yes. Praise God. Praise God for the work that he did for all of us in for this country. All of us in this country. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Point number three. Point number three is our point number three for 2024. As we look at the month of faith, we're also continuing to talk about, as Reverend John did at the beginning, what does it mean to let peace begin with me? To let peace begin with me yes. individually? Yes. Do I put my, my faith forward in saying that I choose, as much as I possibly can, as much as I possibly to can. have peace in my heart, to hold my prayer at, uh, for peace? and then see that expanding, see that expanding throughout my relations, throughout my community, throughout others that I come in contact with on a daily basis, and seeing the peace in their heart that we know exists in all of us. Let Th peace begin with me. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. It is our prayer that our time together has been a blessing for you and you and you, and especially you today. And I am I'm going to again uh, assert at this point our theme uh, for the year in fact which is let peace begin with me and we pause right where we are and we breathe that in and we allow that tool that tool that thought of let peace begin with me to enter to mm. move into a digestive place into our body temples, into our minds, and into our hearts. Again, let peace begin with me. Let calm begin with me. Mm. And let that resolve be with us throughout our, our time to today and through our uh, time this week. As we move now into a time of... Oh, Michelle's going to, uh, again, do a recap <laughs> do of today's lesson. A short summary. Point number one, our Bible scripture, the mustard seed. And we talked about yes. the mustard seed and the size of the mustard seed and how that re relates to moving mountains. Yes. Are those mountains physical? Are those mountains the mountainous, as Reverend John said, the mountainous challenges that we may face in our lives. Point number two is to say good things about everything. Say yes. good things about the city that you live in. Say good things about yourself. Say good things about those you come in contact with. Say good things and put that good thought into what you are hoping to manifest Wonderful. in your life. Thank you. And point mm -hmm. number three, let peace begin with you. Let peace begin with me. Let us focus on peace instead of focusing on what may be not peaceful occurring in our lives and our world. Focusing on the peace and let the peace begin in our own hearts and minds. Wonderful. Thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. And right now we move into a time of prayer and meditation. And we'll begin with saying and praying our affirmation for today's lesson. With, With faith, faith, I can, can move, move mountains. mountains. And yes, from the tips of our toes, we feel that energy, that divine glow, lift now into our crown chakra, through our heart chakra, I want to also mention, throughout our body temple, and we feel that energy, that glow, Michelle, and I'm feeling that tingle throughout my body temple right where you are, and we breathe that energy, that divine consciousness into our being as, again, that energy now returns to our heart chakra and to our lower chakras. As it returns to the tips of our toes, we affirm and pray our affirmation for today's lesson, which, again, is with, with faith. faith. 
I can move mountains. And yes, we say, mm, God, yes, thank you, God. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. It is not I, but the Christ within who does the work. The Prayer for Protection, authored by the Reverend James Dillett Freeman. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And so it is. Amen. Our offertory blessing today, together. Divine love, through me, blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, all that I receive. I praise, give thanks, and am glad. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website dailyword.com Our thoughts are prayers and